music. Yes. 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 And I really love music. And actually, I madly love music. This is why I started work at City Store eight years ago. The first two years was really fun. I could import my favorite CD and display. And if I can write my original caption, but two years later, CD sales is going down. And it seems the whole music industry has no power. My favorite music magazine were no longer published, and I was prohibited to order CDs. And I wrote the caption of the CD, which I had never listened to. It's no surprise, because we can listen to the music on the internet, and it's free, and it's amazing. But the people said, the digital age killed the music industry. Um, if you search the, with the keywords, digital kill, you can say like, we almost kill all the media, all the entertainment. So do we really kill that? Do we really kill the things we love so much? Um, is the internet evil? Today, I'm going to talk about what we can do more in the digital ages. And the keyword is the power of participation. And Hansen and Niku shows one good example. For those who doesn't know about Hansen and Niku, she's so called virtuous singer. And then this is a picture from one of her concerts. And actually, one of her concert video has been playing on YouTube more than 17 million times. So since this Miki's concert video got really famous and viral, um, every time when I went business trip, overseas business trip, I asked the local people have you seen this? Then everyone says like, of course. Um, I ask again, do you know about this? Then answer is always like, it's um, yeah, anime, um, program, um, fake singer. So <laughs> let's clarify. Um, Actually, she's not anime, and she's a software, software for making synthesized singing. So the software enables users to synthesize singing, just typing a lyric and a melody, and um, it's no anime, it's not story. Um, horograph? Technically, it's not a horograph at all. It's just 3D. And at the concert, 3D images are projected on the screen. And fake singer. I would say no, but it all depends what you think. But you would say no, too, if you know about the background, backstory about the hands and group. So another question is, why this video go viral? According to the TED presentation by the Kevin Aloka, he is their YouTube trend manager. Uh, there is three reasons why videos go viral. Tastemaker, unexpectedness, and participation. Tastemaker is the people or things bring the video to the larger of things. So this case was obviously the news or blog or fans. Um, unexpectedness, Maybe because the 3D images, 3D singers uh, dancing, uh, singing, on, perform, doing the performances, and real human audience got really excited by that, which you had never seen before. But this patient, do you think that you can tell the participation from it? I don't think so. But actually, 
participation is a big keyword to explain Miku itself. So, because the, every music, every video, every story are created by fans. And if you search Hansane Miku on YouTube, you can find more than 200,000 videos. Everything happened by the power of participation. And the power of participation is generated by three things, which is passion and digital and empathy. The first, passion. Sharing your ideas, drawing art while composing music, no matter what, but you put passion in it because you create the things you really love, not asked by someone, uh, like you really want to represent yourself through the artwork. Second, the digital. Like, needless to say, the digital allows you to easily access information, connect with the people, and expanding creative possibilities. We are in Sapporo, Japan, but we are all connected via the internet. For example, you can upload your artwork on the illustration website and share your ideas. Or maybe you can enter it to the competitions. Um, maybe more. You may get people's attention and you could win something. Finally, empathy. When you find really, really good music or really beautiful artwork, it turns your heart and it makes you want to tell it to the other people. You could see or feel people's passion through the digital platform and express empathy for it. And actually, not only costume, but also the old songs played at her concert are composed by different artists, different fans. So, you could be the, in the audience, and you could represent yourself um, through Miku, or you could be both. And fans, the creators, and everyone see you, see you through Miku, and this is create strong passion. This is totally different from old industry. When there was no internet, um, information was more limited and controlled by big companies. As well as music industry, we buy CDs, records, uh, listen to the radio, uh, reading the magazine. Mainly, we consume the product. Um, there was no participation. But now, through the internet, you can share your ideas, show your artworks, or connect with the people. And what unique about around Miku is that everything happened by the power of participation. Fans create and consume their artwork, each other, and create even more by collaborating with other fans. This music to crafty art and expanding through the internet. We see people's passions via digital, uh, express empathy, and it makes more empathy. Digital age might kill the old style of industry, but it's not industry itself. The power of participation unite people's passion and empathy and produce many, many, many contents. And digital age make it stronger and more powerful. So I want to see and think more what we can do with power of participation. Thank you so much.